Hi everyone, this is AFC RDTV. Welcome to highlights of Romulus FC against AFC Ocean and Diamonds from the Northern Premier League First Division South on Saturday afternoon. The Diamonds started this one on the front foot and had a number of chances. First, Sam Brown going close. Before Tom Lorraine got into the area, although home keeper Leighton Smith saved. Although it wasn't too long before the Diamonds' pressure paid off, a Lorraine header flicked on and there was Nabil Sharif to convert. 1-0 Diamonds in the ninth minute. Although as the game went on, Romulus started to make more and more chances themselves and on 34 minutes, Jordan Francis was first to a loose ball, powering the ball home, 1-1. Diamonds continued to push though, Ben Farrell working his way through the defence, although his poked shot was saved by Smith. So at half time, it was Romulus FC 1, AFC Russian and Diamonds 1. More chances would come in the second period, which turned out to be an entertaining half. Farrell there with a the header saved. And then from Smith's long kick, Bunting didn't deal well with the back header. And Johan Rutty Smith was there to poke over Finley, giving Romulus the lead 2 1 in the 49th minute. The game started to become quite frenetic, chance at both ends. Bunting almost made immediate amends for that previous mistake here heading against the crossbar. Before a Tom Lorraine cross thwarted everyone in the area. And Nathan Waite for the home side put that shot just wide. Diamonds eventually would get the equaliser. A miss hit shot by Raj was recycled through Nabil Sharif, straight onto the head of Lorraine. A powering header, 2 2 in the 70th minute. And then followed numerous chances. First, a free kick from Liam Dolman. Then a glancing header from Arroj went wide. Before a covering challenge by a Romulus defender thought it Arroj again. Later on, the Diamonds started to queue up to try to get a clear shot here. The Romulus defence doing just enough. And as the clock ticked down, it would be Romulus to take a late lead. A cross come shot, drifting into the back of the net by Jean-Michel Guys. 3-2 to Romulus in the 85th minute. So full-time, Romulus FC 3, FC Russian and Diamonds 2. A very hard-fought victory for the home side and at least plenty of chances created for the Diamonds, who are next in action next Saturday at home against Loughborough Dynamo. All right, thanks, Pete. It's, uh, yeah, once again, the uh, disappointing scoreline, obviously, is Romulus 3, AFC Russian Diamonds 2. The man of the match, uh, again, Tom Lorraine. Uh, Tom, a, a tough game today to lose it that way. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't really know what to say. I think um, I can't quite believe we've come out of it losing, to be fair. We've... I don't think we've played particularly well. Um, I wouldn't say that we've gone out there and, and you know had a fantastic performance, but I think a lot of the time, like we have done the last few weeks, we've controlled the game. We never really looked in any real danger, I didn't think. Um, and maybe possibly just a couple of errors that have punished us today, um, which happens you know, when you come up against a, a good side. Um, but... I don't, I don't really know what to say. I, I, can't, I, I can't tell you how we lost that. Ooh. Well, I've got to come up with a few questions here for you, Tom. Uh, we got a, Diamonds got off to a flying start, though. Uh, Nabil with a lovely goal in the ninth minute. Yeah, fantastic start. Exactly what um, we wanted to do, same as we did on Tuesday against Rugby. Got a great start. Um, off the throw in again, a flick at the near post, and Nabs has knocked it in. So, you know, one off the training field like we did last week. So, really, really pleased with that start. Um, it, you know, we go into games, you know, if, we know if we get a good start, 
we're on the front foot. You go in with a one-nil lead. Uh, so yeah, very pleased with the with the start. But then uh, Romulus comes back with a couple of goals on either side of halftime, and now all of a sudden they're up two-one. And then Diamonds really got the momentum back midway uh, through the second half. You were up and down the pitch and really forcing the play, and uh, then you got the equalizer. Yeah, I mean. We Again, like we said, we conceded those two goals, and we, we were a little bit sort of looking at each other, thinking, "What? How? How? How are we in this position?" Um, but I think we had after we conceded the second. I think we had a really, a, a really good response to it. Um, we were pushing. Obviously, got another goal, which brought it back to two-two, and I think we looked comfortable. I think we were pushing. You know, they were barely getting the ball. We were keeping it quite well. We were putting crosses in. Um, you know, ones come off the crossbar. A um, couple of blocks on the line. Um, yeah, just one of those days. <laughs> and a 2 twos draw would have been a much fairer result, I think, at least for Diamonds. But uh, there you go, a sucker punch in the 85th minute. Uh, Jean-Michel Guillas scoring on a very wide angle, no less. Yeah, um, just that was the story of today, I think. it's. Um, I think he's gone down the left-hand side and tried to put a cross in to the back post and sort of sliced it a bit, and it's gone straight in the top corner. Finn has had no chance. Um, you know, it happens. It happens every now and again. People, uh, teams get a strike of luck against you. We've had it against other teams before. We've played a lot worse than that in one games. Um, I think that says a lot about today. Football's a funny old game uh, against the same team, Romulus, back in late uh, September. It was nil-nil. And today we get a five-goal thriller as such. Uh, entertaining game, I'm sure, for a neutral, but tough for us Diamond supporters. Yeah, tough for, for, the, for the supporters to take because, um, you know, I don't think they've come here and watched, uh, watched shabby football by any means. Um, just disappointed is all I can say really I don't think we deserve to lose um, a win would have put us in a fantastic position again on uh, on the back of our, our win last week on Tuesday um, and you know we've got a full week of training this week so we could have gone into next Saturday really high on confidence so uh, it would have knocked us a little bit today but we'll come back we'll come yeah. back bigger and stronger exactly keep the faith we got love for a dynamo next Saturday back home at the dog and duck yeah go back home um, good opportunity to uh, get another win at home um, you know we that's that's probably where our Less favourable results have come, um, but the last couple of games, perhaps there, we've we've turned it around and played well. So hopefully we can get another win there. And uh, like I say, we're going to training this week, and and the boys will be boys will be ready for Saturday. Get another three points with a bit of luck. All right, thanks for your time, Dom. No Cheers. Problem. Thank you. Thanks, Bruce and Shanks. I'm now with uh, manager Andy Peaks. Andy, um, I'm not sure how we lost that one. I know we've been to away games where we've uh, got wins and perhaps uh, a bit fortunate, but you can't say that today. No. I'm shot myself really trying to work out how we've come away from how we've played today with no points that's probably as well as we've played away from home for some time as well I would say so I thought it was exciting I thought we passed it well I thought we created lots of opportunities and we've conceded three goals and lost three too so yeah I'm a bit of a loss at the minute John I don't think we got what we deserve today um, I think some of the games we have picked some points that we've rode a luck and got blocks in and got saves in and broke away and scored and nick points today I thought we were well worthy of points and we haven't got any so let's go back to the beginning, a really bright start and that uh, good start and Cole Martietti did that uh, goal from um, Nabil. Yeah, I thought we started really well on the front foot in the ascendancy and I thought when we got the goal it was fully deserved. Um, so I was delighted to go win it. I thought we got on the back foot a little bit after that. I didn't think we passed it as well as that and invited a little bit of pressure, but I still thought we were controlling the game in general. And then they got a free kick, which uh, slightly disputed, and uh, we didn't defend again from the corner. Yeah, no, I was disappointed. So that was the first I was disappointed. I, I don't think it was particularly a free kick. I think it was very soft, but it's a ball into the box, and we haven't dealt with the first one or the second one. And out of nothing, it's one all. We still came out, had a, some more chances. Ben Fowler, I think, fired over the top when he should have done better, perhaps. He, I thought he made some good runs just for half time. The goal he made a good save from him when he went through. Um, and yeah, again, at, at half time, we said, look, keep the tempo, keep playing as we are, we'll get chances, have to defend better. Um, and that, that was the plan. And we conceded from our own free kick. Yeah, we conceded from our own free kick and we had a header at their goal. They've put one, goalkeeper's kicked it down the ball, uh, down the pitch and we've uh, not defended it. Richard's hold his hands up, got, whether he got too close to Finn or whatever, but he hasn't headed it back strong enough. And the boys nipped in and all of a sudden we're 2-1 down, completely against the run of play. But then we got back in it and dominated, hit the bar and uh, deserved the equaliser. I thought we were excellent then. For the rest of the game, to be honest, I thought we were always on the front foot. I thought we got it wide. We put some good balls in. I thought the front three caused lots of problems with Taylor or without him. And, yeah, you think it's just a matter of time until we get a goal and get back in it. Um, we got that fantastic header from Shanks. And for me, it was a case of going on and winning the game and certainly not conceding again and taking a point in the worst. And uh, that third goal, what's your view of it? You had probably a good view. I had a great view. We lost the ball, didn't we? Just in front, Cole got it between his feet. He was breaking, which epitomises how he plays. He, he wants to get forward, him and Shanks. 
lost possession and the lad's gone down the right wing and uh, the left wing, sorry, and he's crossed it and it's flew straight in the corner. Complete freak. But just what's happened today really sums up their day, I would say. Absolutely no luck. <laughs> Worked hard and got done with a sucker punch, really. Even then, we've had a couple of chances after and they've got blocks in. The keeper's made a couple of saves, so we've hit the bar in between that. So, lots to be positive about, although it doesn't feel like it at the moment because we haven't got any points. And for me, you know, I want points every week. But performance wise, I thought we played pretty well, but I think probably mistakes have cost us today. So uh, I think we'll put that behind us. we home next week. We can put it right against Loughborough. Yeah, no, they're, they're gutted in there today again because they've worked hard and, you know, it will just make them stronger. You know, you've seen today we've got players to change it. Hopefully I'll get a couple of bodies in. I'm still looking to add to the squad this week to make us stronger and to, going into the running, really, or the second half of the season. So we'll try and... <laughs>